Hello! Welcome to the Polyglot Files. My name is Michael and today we're doing a video about one of the most secretive and elusive languages in the world, Romani. Romani is a language spoken by modern nomads throughout the entire world, also known as the Roma people. While the Roma people are fairly widespread throughout modern Europe, Asia, Africa, and North America, their history and language are the subject of much speculation, and their secretive nature leaves much to the imagination. Before we get started on today's video though, I did want to talk a little bit about today's video sponsor, italki. Italki is one of the fastest and most convenient ways to learn a language because it puts you in contact with native speakers of that language. Human teachers are one of the best ways to learn languages. Period. You can take one-on-one -on -one lessons with an italki teacher or tutor, and these lessons are catered towards your learning style and your goals. Best of all, these lessons are completely online. You can take them anytime you want and anywhere you want, so long as you have an internet connection. Lessons with italki are affordable, often at a fraction of the cost of offline tutors, schools, and computer software. And I personally have used italki to learn my target languages. Italki has been part of my language learning for French, Italian, German, and Afrikaans, and I love it. Follow the link in the description and get 10 US dollars in italki credits with your first lesson purchase. While it may seem logical to link the Roma people to the city of Rome, and thus the Romance language family, that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, the Romani people are Indo-Aryan in origin, meaning that they have originated from the modern-day provinces of Rajasthan, Haryana, and Punjab in northern India. In fact, according to one study from David Comas and Manfred Kayser from the University of Rotterdam in the Netherlands, all Romani people can be traced back to a single group that left northern India about 1500 years ago. But besides knowing that the Romani people are genetically linked to northern India, we don't really know why they left northern India in the first place. According to one legend recorded in the Persian epic poem called Shamane, the Persian king Bahram Gore requested 10,000 lute playing experts from the king of India to entertain the poor in his own country. Upon their arrival in Persia, the Romani people were given an ox, a donkey, and a load of wheat to begin their lives in Persia and play music. Within a year, however, the Romani people returned to the Persian king, having eaten the oxen and all the wheat and looking for more food. Angered by their wasting of his resources, the Persian king expelled the Romani people from Persia to go wandering the world on their donkeys. Now, the historical accuracy of that story is somewhat debatable. However, what is not debatable is that today there are anywhere between 5 million to 20 million Romani people who live around the world. In fact, it isn't only their genetic lineage that links the Romani people to northern India. It's also their language. According to Ethnologue, there are at least 1.5 million native Romani speakers worldwide. Romani is a recognized minority language in Colombia, Germany, Kosovo, Hungary, Macedonia, Sweden, and Ukraine. Romani is a Western Indo-Aryan language, meaning it is related to other Western Indo-Aryan languages such as Gujarati, Damari, and Marwari. That also means that Romani is related to other Indo-Aryan languages such as Persian and Hindustani, one of which we spoke about in this video. Right there. Go look. Lots of fun. Before we look at the shared vocabulary that Romani has with other Indo-Aryan languages, let's delve a little bit deeper into the grammatical structure of the language itself. The trouble, however, is that even though Romani is seen as being one language, it is so widespread that there are many dialects of it, and in fact some of those dialects are even seen as their own separate languages. Generally, the Romani language is divided into two groups of dialects, Northern Romani and Southern Romani. These dialects are generally based on their geographical distribution in Europe, with northern dialects being spoken in more northern European countries, such as Germany, France, and the Baltic region, and southern dialects being spoken in southern locations, such as Italy, Greece, and the Balkan region. In fact, Romani is interesting in the sense that it will actually borrow grammatical features of the native language of the country it is being spoken in. For example, according to one study by Yaron Matras from the University of Manchester, 
Romani often borrows the indefinite articles of the language of its host country. That could mean that the Romani dialect spoken in Italy actually uses the words un, uno, and una to mean a or an. Because of this, some dialects of Romani are thought to be mixed languages. This is illustrated by the case of Anglo-Romani, which is spoken in the United Kingdom. While the language has retained its native Romani words, it actually has adopted English syntax in order to use for sentence structure. Furthermore, the Romani language has five main vowels, and some consonant sounds make a distinction between aspirated and non-aspirated consonants. Romani is also a language that uses cases, though that is mostly limited to the nominative case for subjects and the accusative case for objects. Most Romani dialects are said to have a subject-verb-object word order, and this is in fact in contrast with other Indo-Aryan languages, such as Gujarati, Hindi, and Persian, that have a subject-object-verb word order. Despite that, however, Romani shares quite a bit of vocabulary with Persian and Hindi. While Romani is not thought to be mutually intelligible with any of these languages, let's take a look at some of the cognates that Romani has with them. In the second column, we can see the Romani words for the numbers 1 through 10. Now in the third column, we can compare those to the Persian numbers 1 through 10. In my opinion, numbers 1 and 2 look fairly similar to the Romani counterparts, as well as the numbers 4, 5, 6, and 10. Let's add in the Hindi words now for numbers 1 through 10, and we can see that the similarities are just as common. Next, let's look at the word for black in Romani, Persian, and Hindi. While the Romani and Persian words are not similar, the Romani word for black is very close to the Hindi word for black. Let's next look at the word for big in Romani and compare it to Persian and Hindi. Again, these words look pretty similar. Lastly, let's look at the Romani word for small. Compare this with the Persian word and the Hindi word, and we can see that they are two very similar. All right, so there we have it. Romani, the language of modern nomads spread throughout the world by donkeys, in theory, according to the legend. If you speak Romani or you know somebody who speaks Romani, leave me a comment below. I'd love to have a first-hand account of what Romani is really like, and I would also like to know whether or not speakers of Romani can understand speakers of other Indo-Aryan languages, such as Gujarati, Persian, and Hindi. You can check me out on social media. I have a Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And as usual, thanks for watching the Polyglot Files. I will see you next time. Goodbye!